One of the great gifts that you can give to the world is to be a peacemaker within your family, within your work setting. It says in Matthew 5, 9, blessed are the peacemakers. You've known some in the past that never seemed to do anything to bring about peace in a situation, and yet their very presence brings peace. I pray that you're the same type of person. I pray that you bring peace into a difficult situation. I pray that your influence is felt by everyone around you. I pray that peace exudes from you and that your quiet presence has an effect of quieting the storm wherever you are. This kind of peacemaker is greatly needed in the world. And you can learn, I tell you, you can. You can learn to become one. It is easy to realize in moments of prayer that Christ in you is perfect peace. But the greatest lesson that you can learn is the maintenance of this awareness under any and all situations and conditions in life, in time and in prayer, you can learn there is no situation that has power to take away your inner peace, your Christ-centeredness. You can bring from the fourth dimension through you into the third dimension a wonderful wave of peace that gently surrounds everyone in in a hostile situation. Your deeper realization of your Christ self in you, the less effort will be necessary to maintain peace in yourself and to radiate this peace to those around you. And people will love you for this even though they don't fully understand what is happening at the time. Through prayer, your awareness of your Christ nature grows, and it grows stronger every day. And this is a strength not to overpower, but to gently send out love towards everyone. Centered in the peace of Christ, you will be a peacemaker. I pray for you in this way that the next time you're in a warring situation, a hostile situation, where people are angry, I pray you reconnect. And through that silent, wonderful, loving force coming through you, you change the entire situation. And then again, you realize the power and the majesty of God.